Oh, all right, guys. Some good news and some bad news here. Um, the good news is this is a pretty wild tutorial. The bad news is that toward the end, like minute and a half, I want to say, I sound like a robot because for some reason, the Elgato software just like hates my um, microphone after a while, and it makes me sound like a robot. So I'm gonna sound pretty weird. And also, the other bad news is that something happened the game after this where I killed a person it turns out he watches my videos and then I tried to record it in a party and uh, you can't hear anything because my mic was being a robot so that sucks but um yeah so um uh, try to enjoy this until that last part of robotness happens I guess I don't know uh, so yeah, um, hope this helps and we'll be seeing you. Alright, what's going on? Today, it's crafting tutorial day, okay? It is how to craft correctly and properly, okay? And I finally have a whole day to do this too, so I can just teach people how to craft. Get right into it. Also, I have not played on this update, this new update, so I don't know how it's gonna be, but we're gonna learn as we go here. All right, I'm gonna land here. As you guys know, the only way to craft is to get materials to craft, and really the best way to get Materials all depends on where you land. Also, they really updated this because I cannot see anything from my hands and my feet right now. Okay. Um. Yeah, so hang on. Also, step one to being able to craft effectively is to not die. So I guess we're gonna see if I can do that. Alright, now. Um, is, is there a chest here? If not, okay. Also, major key about fatal fields and why I land here all the time. Um, in my personal opinion, rock is the greatest resource to ever have. So, I'm not gonna have you watch me, you know, farm all of this. But over here, you can obviously see there's a lot of this. What I usually do is I just take it all down until I have a comfortable amount of resources, or I feel like I have a comfortable amount of resources. So I would say probably like 800 or higher is a pretty comfortable amount. So I'm just, I'm not gonna have you guys watch me take it all down, but I will cut the video until after I have it. If, if that makes any sense, yeah. All right, well, I have enough resources where I can feel comfortable if I get into an altercation. If, if, if there's ever an altercation, we use over 1,000 resources. That's not good. It's either they're really good or you're really bad. So keep that in mind. All right, and also keep in mind that, like, you have over 1,000 resources, and if you get into an altercation, the person you kill is going to have resources. So, I mean... All right, so there's a person right here, right? This is an easy 1v1 resource craft situation. He looks like he's crafting, so he's right there. I'm gonna craft here, little ramp. All right, see, now he's he's also trying to craft up. Oh, that was a mistake craft. So I'm gonna collect this, this, get high ground. Look, see, I just easily achieved the high ground pretty quickly, and he had no clue. So that's what this whole entire game is about. You need to achieve high ground. High ground is huge. I also, oh, yeah, I don't know. There was loot there that I really wanted to get, but I couldn't get because I don't have enough inventory spots. But yeah, honestly, if you ever see a person and they see you right there, you just want to do this. Wall, ramp, easy. So if you're on PS4, circle, R2, ramp, boom. But if you're on Xbox, obviously you take out your craft, um, boom, instant, R2, boom, 
boom. It's easy. The wall ramp. Oh yeah, also, um, I don't know if you guys have your turbo crafting on, but if you don't, you need to. Turbo crafting is incredibly helpful. Like, in any situation. Like, hang on a minute, let me just hide right here. Oh. If you don't have it on, go here. I'm pretty sure it's in the game. Turbo building, right here. Needs to be on, it makes things a lot easier. Also, purple tack, thank you. So in that last gunfight, it was kind of a defensive craft and a rush craft at the same time. So I was, I was able to protect myself and then get the high ground. So, don't want that. I do want this, thanks. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to. Okay, now I just need an AR, that's good. I hear gunshots. That is just unfortunate for that guy. I don't really know. I don't know how else to explain what just happened to him, but always have to pay attention. Always. Uh, rip. Hello? Okay. Always pay attention. And as you can see, I was looking down on him. He needs the high ground. That's really all this game is about, is just getting the high ground and keeping it. Don't ever drop it down to their level unless you know 100% that you have the kill. All right, I hear gunshots this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Someone just died as well, so that means this could could be weak. He might not be, but he could be. Right now, I do not have high ground, so that is unfortunate. And he should be coming over here right now because the storm's right here as well. I do not want him to come out of the storm and kill me. This is the last thing I want. All right, so he's right here, wall, ramp. He's gonna sh shoot that down, keep keep crafting up wall once he has no ammo. He had no ammo anymore, and now I'm gonna protect myself from anyone else. Turn my attention back to him. Don't choke your shots like that. Also, now we're going to do ramp, ramp. High ground. Easy tutorial right there. Even uh, Don't do that, though. Don't do that. Like, don't just jump off your craft without using your head. Because then you, you'll lose health like I just did. Wow, that sucked. So, once again, achieve the high ground, win the gunfight. All right, so I see there's a person in that house right there, all right? Create a ramp, craft around. Hopefully I didn't, that, that was a horrible craft. I Hit him once, he has a scar also. All 
Alright, so he's going to be pretty nervous now because I hit him right in the chest with a sniper, so he does not have a lot of health. Ah, but the storm. So with this, this is always an awkward situation. You pretty much have to watch while running. Because if he peeks over, he's just going to start unloading on you. Okay, so that kid literally just, um, I don't know, he just like lagged or something. Also, yes, I know, the storm's right here, I know. But I really wanted the scar, and I can outrun the storm anyway, and have a chug jug, so. So for something like that, you don't even have to craft, but sometimes you just have to like jump, and if he's chasing you, just jump, turn. Craft, jump, turn, craft, jump, turn, craft. Like, it, it, honestly, it's, it's pretty easy at, at the end of the day. So, I obviously heard that. I have no idea where that's from currently, and I need to heal up. So, I'm gonna craft up right here. Surround myself, do that. Also, pro tip you can build a ramp over your cozy, and you will still be healed. So, it's incredibly effective if you ask me and you can still keep a keep aware of your surroundings okay so let's see all right so this is where it it gets interesting i say it's getting late game so we change to our stronger resource uh do not change to metal because that takes forever to craft up um, I use, oh, there's a person right here, can go like that, cut the high ground, I think there's a person right there too, I'm not, pretty sure there's a person close, so if there's an altercation I can't really commentate it, just hang on a minute. Okay, well, so now, as I was saying, um, you're getting to the final circle here. Um, you're most likely going to want to get to the highest ground possible, which, as you can see on this ramp here, on this ramp, um, on this mountain here, on the map, oh my god, I can't, I don't even know what I'm saying. On the map, it's that hill right there, okay? So essentially, you are going to want to get to that hill first. That way it is your high ground. A lot of people shooting, a lot of people shooting, that's fine. Because they're not focused on you. And uh, another pro tip, after the third circle, um, that is when the circles go based off of the center of the last one. So the center of it's right here, and this is my final base tutorial, easy, one by one. One, 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 ground, one, 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 ramp, one, 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 ground ramp, one, 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 ground ramp. We're getting shot. That kid, uh. Yep. Probably wasn't your smartest of ideas. See, as you can see now, you have the high ground, right? Yes, you do. And you can even keep going up higher. So now you have a view of the whole map, or not the whole map, but the whole playable area. I know there's a guy over there. All right, guys, so right here is actually where the audio cuts out, but I am just going to commentate it. Um, oh, shit, I just accidentally did something I didn't want to do. I'm just going to commentate over it so you guys don't just go on without any audio or, like, knowledge of what's happening. So, okay, so right here, I'm just peeking over, um, trying to check where everyone is. 
that's always key when you're last a lot we're not last alive but when you're w w one of the last people uh right there i saw where that kid went and i saw where the other one is and the other one's hiding on this con container right there so i know that there's a person on my right and a person in front of me so i don't have to turn around or anything i can focus all my attention toward the front of me so um, right here, I craft up a wall because I saw this kid peeking over here. And if you craft up a wall, that makes sure that you can't get shot from your side, obviously, so you can f focus on one area. And then after that, you obviously can't, um, you obviously cannot shoot through that wall. So you're gonna have to craft up one more level. He peeked again, but nothing happened. Uh, this is where he starts running, and unfortunately, my kill gets taken right here. It's actually horrible. But I shoot him all the way down until he's one shot, and then that kid shoots him once, and he gets a kill. So, but anyway, um, I know where the last person is now. Um, I don't know how that snipe didn't hit him, but that is uh, whatever. I don't really care. And then from here on out, this is just easy, easy dubs here, um, because you obviously have the the extreme in this situation, the extreme high ground advantage here. And uh, you pretty much always constantly know where he's going to go because you can see everything. So right there, I just took off all of his shield and, you know, so he's really nervous. Then he jumped down and now I have the extreme, extreme high ground advantage and it's just an easy kill after that. But uh, yeah, um, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully some of the tips that I gave uh, are helpful. Um, if they're not, I apologize, but it is the best I could do this was actually my first game on of the whole day so whatever um i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace